Welcome back. I want to read Proverbs chapter 8, uh, verse 17 to you, again from the Living Translation this time. I love all who love me. Those who search will surely find me. This tells me that you're not just going to one day wake up and say, I have wisdom, I have wisdom, I have wisdom. No, wisdom comes through searching. Wisdom comes through pressing in and finding out what God says about things. And uh, verse 14, I'll go back to verse 14 in the, in the New Living Translation. It says, common sense and success belong to me. Insight and strength are mine. Of course, because of me, kings reign and rulers make just decrees. Rulers lead with my help and nobles make righteous judgments. Friends, families, I believe that the thing that we are going to need more and more of in the days to come, in the months and the years to come, what we are going to need more and more of is we are going to need wisdom. We're going to need to know how to find the knowledge that we need to get instructions, to have an understanding of what's needed. And all of these things coming together in wisdom. That means timing, that means knowing, that means resources, that means uh, um, having an end result um, in terms of obedience and things that you need to pursue. There are many things that wisdom will bring to you if you search for wisdom. And isn't it amazing that the Holy Spirit, the wisdom of God, in the book of John, uh, when Jesus is, is talking to his disciples and he says, I'm going away so that another one may come, the helper, the comforter, the strengthener, the helper, the advocate, the person who will teach us many truths. That is the one that is from the beginning. That is the Holy Spirit. Our job is going to be, we must trust Him. We must learn to trust Him. If we don't learn to trust the Holy Spirit, we are going to trust something else. It is unfortunate that we, uh, our first instincts to solve problems or to, or to uh, go, have a way to move forward in life and to find ways of, of um, making things happen for ourselves, is that we turn to our own strength, we turn to our contacts, we turn to knowledge base, we turn to many things that are in the natural. Very often we say, I'd rather trust in something that I can hear on the phone or I can talk to in, or I can read or because, you know, and, and I would go to a trusted source to get information. Well, trusted sources are really just people that you say they have natural instruction, natural knowledge, natural understanding, and they have a, nat a natural wisdom that you can apply for yourself. That's not a bad thing. I mean, I'm not putting that down. But if that's all we limit ourselves to, then we're never going to get to a point where we have a, a impartation of the Holy Spirit's wisdom to go to a much further place than we can go to from natural wisdom. And so if kings and nobles can reign and rule by judgment and by understanding and by wisdom, then surely we should be doing that in our everyday life. I've been in business before where it felt I was, I mean, it was already stated that I was going to lose a business deal. And uh, I went before the Lord and I began to inquire of the Lord, of the Holy Spirit. What can I do? How can I recover and redeem the deal? And he gave me supernatural instructions. He, he revealed things to me that, I would, that no one in the natural could have revealed to me. Acting on what he did, what he said, and how we went about it, acting on that actually gave us the chance to redeem the deal. 
And so I'm going to leave you with this word right now. That if you trust wisdom, you trust the Holy Spirit, you will redeem things in your life that you didn't think possible. Thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.